So I just came back from interviewing Patrick for our launch film. And I've got to say, we had a really great plan going into this thing. We knew exactly what we wanted our story to be. But every so often when you're in an interview, something so amazing or so unexpected happens that you know you've got to pivot your story. Here's what happened. Why does it matter to you so much that you live a life of purpose? That was my mom. Um, she took her own life and my sister and I had to go back to Midland and pack up her apartment. I mean, for over a decade, my mom struggled with bipolar, which means she'd have these manic phases where she'd fly to places like Turkey, Lebanon, or Jordan, and um, then would often come crashing down into a depression and somebody would have to go and try and bring her back. I went to Lebanon to try and bring her back when she became depressed. And I've seen, I've, I've, sitting on, I've, I've sat on an airplane next to her for eight hours and she pretends to read, you know, because then it looks like you're normal. I can't imagine the reality of somebody going through their life trying to hide their pain so that people don't try and bother them, you know? And so, um, It just came to a point where she felt like she was more of a burden. A lot of people would probably tell you that the, the depression killed her, but it, it was not having purpose anymore. It was not being able to, to follow her purpose. It was not being able to find it in herself to do anything that she felt would really make a difference for anybody. It's incredibly hard to lose somebody you're that close to. But what allowed me to survive was having a purpose, was believing that what we're actually doing really doesn't matter and makes a difference. Um, so it's a very deep-seated sense that, that um, purpose not only matters, it not only drives you forward, but it also keeps you going. And it also will help see you through. And it is one of the most fulfilling things that you can have, you know? Action. You can follow the... I don't think a lot of us realize that like being a storyteller truly is the greatest job out there because not only do we get to do something that can really make a, a, a positive difference, that we can really take things and, and share them with people in a way that's going to open their minds yes, and let them see something different, yes. but that we are also changed by those things. If I have the ability to extract something from our experience and to bring together an incredible team of people who can come up with a repeatable way that different people, wherever they are in the world, can use this structure and these ideas to do what they do better and to love it more. I mean, it feels like a crime not to. How do you not share that? How do you not take the opportunity to, to try and do that? Our soundtrack I don't know, I guess, I guess it seems bizarre because people come up to you all the time and they go like, why are you sharing this? Like, why do you just give away everything you know? And I have such a hard time understanding that question. Why would I keep it? Are you, are you gonna go and like tell your best story and then go lock it in your bedroom? And go, no, no, this is for me. No, you share it with people. You want it to make an impact. Well, you know what? Muse is my story. It is something that I believe in that, that deeply that can be your journey, that can help you actually make a difference. And, and that's all it is. And so of course, I want to share that with as many people as I can. And I want them to be able to use it and take it and take whatever works for you and just do what you do a little bit better. And I'm happy. Darkness is probably our biggest keyword. Every then. story is the opportunity of a lifetime. And we just rarely realize it. We rarely realize that we are, we have an opportunity to really let somebody be heard, to allow them to see themselves in a different way and to share something with other people that could make a difference for them. Focus on her face, okay? One of the last things that my mom really wanted was to share her story. It was to have it matter to somebody else other than her, for people to take her pain and her experience with bipolar and to learn something from it, to be able to live their own lives a little bit better. And 
I will one day tell that story in a bigger way. And when I do, I want it to be the best damn story I've ever told. You know, I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I haven't left anything on the table. And that's why we're building this, you know? Because that's, that's what matters to me, this story. But everybody else, they have something that matters to them. And it's just about creating something that allows us all to make the most of every story we tell, you know? Yeah.